Dogs are fairly easy to please. They love treats, walks, and attention from their favorite people. However, there are some things that they simply cannot stand. In this video, we'll talk about 26 things that your dog hates and wishes you'd stop doing. Number 26. Horror Movies If you are watching a horror movie with your dog in the room, your pooch may tuck its tail between its legs and hide under the blanket alongside of you. Spikes in the music, bangs, or shocks are all designed to get the audience on the edge of their seats, and some dogs will feel the same way. Keep in mind that dogs have greater hearing sensitivity than humans do. Your dog will of course smell the changes in body chemistry that accompanies with your fear, and so the chances are your dog is just catching your mood. Number 25. Being a clean freak You probably don't want to smell like your dog, but the opposite is definitely not true. Fascinating new research suggests that an owner's scent activates the parts of a dog's brain associated with pleasure. You may prefer the scent of freshly washed sheets and clothing, but your dog prefers your natural scent. They take a great deal of comfort in your scent, and the stinkier, the better. Indulge your pet by giving them one of your sweaty shirts to snuggle with while you give everything else a good wash. Number 24. A Tight Leash a well-fitted harness gives your pooch the support they need to walk on a lead comfortably. If your dog isn't good at walking to heel, or they lunge at other dogs, birds, or squirrels, they need adequate structure around their body. Not only does this give you better control, but it's kinder on your pet's throat. You wouldn't want to be dragged around by your neck, neither does your dog. And remember, a dog can easily be leash-trained with the use of a proper harness and positive reinforcement. There is no need to have to tug on the leash when the dog knows his limits and is rewarded when they can heal. Number 23. Breaking up a wrestling match Many dog owners see puppies nipping, barking, growling, and tackling each other and assume they're fighting. But the truth is, that is how dogs play and learn. Through this kind of interaction, dogs learn to control the intensity of their bites so that no one gets hurt. Breaking them up can stunt their doggy social skills. The only time an owner needs to remove their pup is if one of the dogs is clearly scared, tail tucked, trying to get away, or appears to be panicked. Number 22. Deserting and Isolating Dogs are pack animals. When they are in the wild, they do everything together, and they are loyal to the pack. For a domestic dog, you are the leader of their pack. When you are not able to spend enough time with your dog, they can develop separation anxiety. Make sure you take them for walks and give them a lot of attention when you can. If you work longer hours, it is a good idea to have someone stop in and check on your pet. You could also take them to a doggy daycare now and then so they can socialize with other animals and humans while you are away. Number 21. Tense Mood Whenever you are feeling tense or bored, keep in mind your dog is probably going through the same feelings. We never enjoy having such feelings, dogs likewise. If you notice your dog is bored or tense, just make sure to check with yourself first as your dog is mostly mirroring your feelings. Dogs need your attention, some fun, and obviously a walk around the block. No wonder your dog will start engaging in destructive behavior. Number 20. Planting a smooch on their snoot Kissing is a sign of affection for humans, and dogs love any attention. But the problem starts when you grab their face to plant a smooch on their muzzle or face. Even the friendliest dog will lean away from a person coming toward their face. Many dog bites have resulted from this situation. It is especially important for parents to teach their children early not to touch a canine snoot. Interestingly enough, a study published in Journal of Veterinary Behavior has shown that dogs show signs of stress like elevated heart rates when they are touched on the head or muzzle. Number 19. Dressing Your Dog don't buy clothes for your pet just because they may look cute in them. When it is cold, you may want to dress your dog for walks, but also keep in mind that they have fur to help regulate their body temperature. If you do live in a colder climate and choose to use a jacket, ensure that it is not too restrictive. Number 17. Phrases Keep it simple. Dogs can be trained to learn a lot of things, but remember, they do not understand human language. Commands with too many words confuse and frustrate them. Use keywords rather than long phrases, and reinforce these words with gestures and body language. Number 16. Teasing them with treats 
It may be all fun and games from your perspective, and even seem the same way for your dog, but that's hardly the case. Treats should be used as reward, but not an instrument to tease or trick your pet. Number 15. Cleaning them too often Dogs keep themselves clean in their own special way, and their body scent is a way of communicating with other dogs or animals. If you wash your dog too frequently when they aren't actually dirty, you're doing them no favors. Likewise, when you wash your dog, it's important to not use scented products. Dogs have an incredible sense of smell, so even a very mild scent to us humans has potential to really irritate them. The smell of scented shampoos on a dog's fur may send them running straight outside to roll in the stinkiest thing they can find. This is because they want to change their body scent. Number 14. Being rushed at potty time Dogs want to be able to take their time when they go out to potty. Aside from doing their business, they also like to have some time to explore and sniff. Instead of rushing your dog, train them to come back when they are done. This is easily done with treats and positive reinforcement. Number 13. Deviating from the schedule Dogs are creatures of habit. They get accustomed to a schedule and come to expect certain things at certain times. Try to have a regular schedule for everything, from feeding to playtime. A dog depends on routine and may experience anxiety if it is not followed. If you do not follow a routine, it is important to make one and then stick to it. Number 12. Poor Nail Trimming It takes a bit of confidence to trim your dog's nails yourself. If you are not sure how to do it properly, it is better left to a professional. If you cut your dog's nails too short, you will be cutting their quick, a blood vessel and nerve found in the nail. This can result in a lot of blood and it hurts your dog. On the flip side, if the nails are too long after clipping, they get in the way of your dog's walking and can cause pain. Number 11. Badly Timed Walks Make sure you pay attention to your dog's cues. If it is too hot or too cold to go out, a walk may not be the best idea. Oftentimes, humans like a midday walk, but keep in mind that in the middle of summer, the pavement could be scorching hot and very uncomfortable on your dog's paws. In the winter, you will want to make sure the temperature is not too cold and that there is a place to walk where the snow is not cumbersome. Dogs can get snow in between their toes, making it painful to walk. Number 10. Allowing Kids to Climb on Your Dog Many people think it's adorable to let their children crawl or climb on their dog. Not only do dogs dislike this, but it could also hurt them or even cause them to snap at the child. Just don't let this happen to avoid any problems and injuries. Number 9. Inconsistency Dogs do not always understand what we want from them, so it is important to be consistent. If you use one command and gesture for sit, but someone in the house uses something different, it is much harder for the dog to know what we want them to do. Make sure that you all use the same hand signals and verbal commands with your dog so they know what you want. Giving mixed signals will confuse and frustrate your pet. Number 8. Waking them from a dead sleep Before you pounce on your snoozing dog, take a minute to consider what you're doing. Who really likes being jolted out of sleep? No one, and that includes your pooch. This is even more important for older dogs. As dogs age, they sleep more heavily and can be startled if woken up abruptly. Number 7. Forced Socialization Although dogs are pack animals, it doesn't mean they want to socialize all the time. Think about it. Do you want to talk with any person you meet on the street? Just like humans, dogs simply don't like bonding with certain dogs. If your furry friend is aggressive towards some dogs, don't keep forcing them together, expecting them to warm up to each other. Number 6. Your house has scents they hate. Dogs have about 1,000 to 10,000 of your ability to perceive scents. There are smells that we may barely notice, but they could be very annoying to your dog. Try to minimize perfumes, cleaning products, vinegar, chili peppers, and citrus scents. This is not to say these items can't be in your house at all but you should provide a place for your dog where the scent would not be a problem. For instance, if you are in the kitchen cooking with chili peppers, your dog should have a comfortable bed away from the area where they can relax. Number 5. Past Trauma The Humane Society speculates that some dogs are born with certain fears. They can also develop fear from past trauma. Many dogs fear loud noises, 
and any loud and unfamiliar sound may startle them. Some people think it's funny that a dog barks at the vacuum cleaner, but exposing your canine companion to this noise can be torture to them. Yelling at your dog is another way that creates anxiety and stress. Speak in a calm and reassuring voice and offer treats to encourage your pet. Dogs can also be afraid of thunderstorms and fireworks. You can't control forces of nature, but you should avoid taking your pet to places where their fears may intensify. Number 4. Being scolded without understanding why You may be upset or angry because your dog has done something you don't like, but it's important to remember that dogs don't understand what they have done wrong or what is going on. By scolding your pet, you are passing your anger and negativity without addressing the main problem. This can create stress and confusion in your dog. By using positive reinforcement, you can reward the behaviors you like and ignore the behaviors you dislike. Number 3. Smoking Dogs' lungs can't handle smoke being blown at them all day. Secondhand smoke can be extremely harmful to pets, causing all sorts of problems, such as respiratory issues or an increased cancer risk. Number 2. No opportunity to explore Dogs need their exercise and love going on walks, but going for a walk and not having a chance to explore is no fun at all. Dogs see the world primarily through scent. Rushing your dog through a walk without allowing them to stop is unkind. If you think about it, it's like someone taking you to your favorite store without letting you stop and look at things. If it happens often, it will be pretty frustrating. Number 2. Forcing your dog into uncomfortable situations Most of us have experienced it. Your dog puts on the brakes and refuses to do something or go somewhere. Maybe it's the veterinarian. Often, it's the bathtub. Sometimes it's a certain street or in the car. It might even be a certain dog or person your canine wants to avoid. More often than not, your dog is refusing because they have a fear or phobia. When you force your pooch into a scary situation, you are keeping them in a state of stress and it can cause more harm than good. A better method is to ease your pooch into the situation. Keep them at a safe distance and reward them for staying calm. Gradually, increase the dog's exposure to the trigger and reward for non-reaction. Number 1. Making them apologize Many people think that dogs know when they have done something wrong because they look guilty. But in reality, your dog isn't sorry that they have chewed your shoes or knocked over your plants. Scientists believe that dogs can't feel complex emotions such as guilt or shame. Your dog is just reacting to your body language and the tone of your voice. They appear scared or upset because you are angry at them. Instead of being upset with them, work more on training the behaviors you want to see.